Well, let's do the uh, let's do the orbital diagram for zinc. <coughs> now, for zinc, first thing you need to notice, I guess, is where it is on the periodic table. That would help a lot. So it has an atomic number of 30. So you got 30 electrons that you're going to fill in. Now, to sort of help you there, zinc is located right here. So what that means for you is that you're going to go through and you're going to, you know, go 1s, then go back to 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, and then it stops in 3d, right? Correct, it does. So you're going to go through and fill it all out now. So it's 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3d, or my apologies, uh, 3p, 4s, 3d. So you go through, you fill in your stuff. Remember again, I mean, you really should know this by now, that there's one orbital for s, there are three orbitals for p, there are five orbitals for d, and there are seven for f. You really, really should know that. And remember, that's orbitals. For electrons, you double those numbers, correct? Yes. yes. So we have 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, and then 3d. Now, looking at zinc, here's the thing. What is the final, what is the final sublevel that zinc is in? 3d. 3d. So you're going to wait and, and, and fill everything else out but 3D. Just fill it in. And you see why I draw my arrows like this. It's so much faster. Now, so, so we filled everything in except 3D. If you actually count the number that I put in there, it's 20. So there's 10 electrons left. Now, what? Yes, I know. Now, shh. Now, if you, now there's two things. So I have 10 electrons left. I have 10 spots. Because remember, each thing can hold two electrons. So you can just fill it all in. Or, just to show you, to, to explain this to you, you see where zinc is right here? If you count the number of spaces, if you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that tells you how many to put in 3D. So it actually tells you the exact number that you should put in there. So you can just, it's really easy, you can just find where it is, count, fill everything up for it, and it's not a big deal. So in this case, everything is going to be filled up. Alright. Wait with that, let me see what that is. Just in a little while. So alright, so that's our, that's our orbital diagram. Now the noble gas configure, or pardon me, the electron configuration is going to be pretty much the same thing. You just write 1s. Now you can do this with the orbital diagram or without. Okay? You can do it with or without. Uh, so you go 1s, 2s, 2p. The configuration is the exact same thing. Now, the reason I say you don't need the orbital diagram is what does every filled 1s sublevel have? How many electrons? It's got two every time. Same for 2s. Same for 2p, except in this case it's not two. Six. And then 3s is two. 3p is six. 4s is two. Now in this case, this is where the counting would help. You just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or you just figure it out there. And it's ten. It's actually full this time. So that's nice. And then finally, the noble gas thing that I know is perhaps the, I don't know, it shouldn't be hard, but it, it's kind of weird, I know, the first time you see it. So, you look here, you've got zinc, and you look up and you find that zinc is the thing above it, the noble gas above it, and to the right is argon. So you're going to put argon in brackets, and what that is telling us you actually, if you figure it out, argon goes up to 3p, right? So everything before 3p we're saying is argon. The only things I need to write are what come after argon, which is 4s and 3d.
Those are the only things you need to write. Yes. Yeah, what? The above it and above to the right, not to the right, the one above it and to the right. Yes, the one in the period above it. Yeah. What if you have to do it for the noble gas? Can you just write the noble gas in brackets? Like if it's ever like do a noble gas, yeah, you just put it in brackets actually, it's nice. So, to actually do this then, what is after argon? Just 4s and 3d. So you go 4s2, 3d10, and that's it. That's all you need to do. So what other questions do you guys have? Yeah, none. Yeah, oh yeah, of course. Yeah, write it shorthand. It's much easier. Uh yeah, what? I can't hear you, because shh. What do you mean for the first three? You mean like right here? Yeah. So I took I took that out because that's where argon happened to be. If it, if I was doing the thing below it, like krypton, I would take everything above. I would take all that stuff out. Then you know what I mean? I, I would take all this stuff would be gone. So it just depends which noble gas you're doing. It's like basically instead of starting at one s. I start after the noble gas instead. That's all it is. It's just like a new starting point. All right.